Hello and welcome to the special production of the Dad Sons E Nationals pregame show. Our very own Bransky 9 looks to take top spot in Canada, but it'll be a long road to get there. Let's take a look. The rounds will be decided in a best 2 out of 3 series. All competitors are using 90 overall players, and all the action is just moments away. And joining us now is fellow dad sons, Marty Thompson. He'll be joining us on commentary in just a few moments. But Marty, we got to get your thoughts on what's going on right now. It must be exciting for you seeing a fellow dad son out there on the big stage. First, yeah, thanks for having me. Big day today. Brainsky 9, I've played thousands of games of FIFA against him. He's always beat me, constantly beating me. And it makes me feel good that he is getting the recognition that he deserves. Uh, and, and getting an opportunity like this, and I like his chances. You said like uh, thousands of games, and I feel like I've been playing uh, against him for years now, just whooping after whooping after whooping. I get occasional win maybe here and there, but it's him usually talking, you know, talking to himself and, you know, getting in his own head. And it's something, uh, when you do get that win, it does feel like a major accomplishment, and you do want to turn off the PS4 right away and uh, take that win home with you. But uh, like you said, it's a major accomplishment, and to represent the dad's sons like he is right now, it's got to be a big uh, opportunity opportunity for the club i'm glad you mentioned that nothing feels better than beating bransky nine uh the other day i was just parking the bus with him and i i almost i almost tied and even that felt good for some strange reason maybe he, i'm maybe i'm sick but yeah i mean bransky to be serious tries really hard at video games which is really cool because he, because he can get those performances, right? Like, I, you know, I, I, I like to play, I like to have fun. I like to chat him up. And then when he starts talking, spoiler alert for anyone who's in the tournament watching this, whenever you get him talking, he ends up messing up. So that's usually what my strategy would do is just have a little bit of fun. And I always lose regardless, so it doesn't matter. And if you watch the streams, uh, the fellow dad son's uh, followers, if you watch the streams, there's something very scary that happens, and it's when Bransky goes quiet because it's another elevated oh. level um, to his game that's just unbelievable. Once Bransky goes quiet, you know bad things are going to happen to you. It scares me. It scares me to death. Yeah, <laughs> you do look scared. <laughs> No, so, it is. Yeah, because he gets, he gets, he gets kind of like it's either, it's sometimes, but he goes quiet on two occasions. He'll go quiet when it's redemption time, whenever like we are down by a lot and hero balls it, or two, which I think is the more enjoyable one, is when he does something sick and he stays quiet. So that's something people on stream you got to watch for that. You know, when he scores, like it's like he scored that rainbow flick, I think uh, that you clipped and put on put online. But when he scored, he just goes dead silent. And I always call him out for it. I always say, I think it's cheap. I think you know, I think you got, when you when you do something good, you got to be in people's faces about. It. But that's just me. Now there are rumors circulating online that he's thinking about going with Bayern Munich for this tournament. Uh, what are your thoughts on that potential selection? Yeah, I, Bayern makes a lot of sense for Bransky Nine. I guess I'm like an expert here. Just hold on. Uh, um, we talked a little bit about this before the tournament as well with, with Bransky. You know, th there may be some really tough opponents and maybe more technical opponents than Ryan, which is not to take anything away from him because he's obviously like a, an incredible dribbler in the game and an incredible, like, you know, you play with him. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a lot better than, than the average player, of course, but there may be, you know, some exceptionally good technical players and and teams in this tournament that would end up probably picking a team like I'm going to say like Manchester City or Liverpool or even Barcelona, um, and 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 try to use some of that dribbling ability to make it work. What Bayern? Why why Bayern makes sense is the versatility because if he is forced to try to play like a little bit more of a nip and tuck game, again I sound like an expert. This is hilarious. I'm thinking that he would end up using a player like Alfonso Davies who has a lot of pace and using the flexibility that Bayern has and the physicality they have to try to like sit back. Because also, obviously Bayern's like a five-star team in the game. Obviously they can play the technical ability, but I just think that they, they're probably a lot more defensively solid than uh, and more physical than a lot of the five-star teams in the game. Again, if there's real FIFA experts out there that are laughing right now, I don't know what to say, dude. I no, no. It, like if I picture a FIFA expert, it actually <laughs> looks exactly like you. So this is very good, Marty. Thank you. 
But yeah, I, I think I think from that standpoint, it makes sense. It makes sense how you pick Bayern, and also that that's always that's been his team of choice. I think for this entire edition of FIFA. So yeah, it, it, I, I think it makes a lot of sense, and I, I would doubt he would deviate from it. That's something we should really watch for. I doubt unless he's really chasing a game and doesn't know what he's what he's about to do. I don't think he's going to switch off Bayern. And we will be uh, joined by uh, Bransky Nine in just uh, a moment now. But uh, before we go and see what's uh, going on in his world just moments before the match. Uh, maybe you want to give us uh, your favorite uh, Bransky 9 memory. Bransky 9 memory. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, so I think we have to talk about this because, you know, Ryan and I obviously thousands and thousands of hours of FIFA together. A lot of it was coach multiplayer because we lived in the same cities and, and towns and were roommates at once, one time. I think it has to be daggers. This was a rule that we had in our house where if you scored an overhead kick uh, or scissor kick, as long as where you struck the ball was above the head, you win the game. And Ryan, to this to this day, plays with daggers and will uh, openly mock me on social media if he scores the dagger. Uh, and, and, and that's something maybe people in this tournament should watch for. Look, he may try, if he's down 3-0, he may try to score a dagger and may pause the game. And I'm just kidding, he won't do that. But that's maybe my favorite memory. He's, he's a fun he's a fun person to play FIFA with. Yeah, that that is a good point to make. I did think about like the dagger rules and uh, per, p the potential of uh, him trying to send a message to the other guy telling him to quit um, <laughs> once he did he learn might, a dagger, he might do it. which isn't a rule going get... into this uh, this uh, e tournament coming up. He, he's gonna line up a couple pauses. And he's gonna send messages just saying like, "Dude, dot 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 dot." You know what to do. You know the rules, right? man. You and know that, the rules. That guy's not gonna know what to do. But that's something again we'll have to keep an eye on during this tournament. Absolutely, we're just moments away. First, we'll be hearing from Bransky Nine in a moment. Marty, I'd like to thank you for uh, joining us here today. Thanks for having me. We're just moments away from kickoff of round one of the E-National Championships. A reminder, at the end of the broadcast, we will be hosting Twitch TV slash Canada Soccer to watch the remainder of the action. Taking a look at downtown Winnipeg, one province united by one man, and we're joined by him right now. Bransky9, thanks for joining us. Oh, this is this is amazing. I can't believe the reception I just saw on my screen. Yeah, it's uh, it's got to be quite a feeling to be representing a province right now. Uh, what are your nerves at going into this uh, this championship right now? Uh, uh, wild. <laughs> I I don't know what to expect from from people kind of around the province. I I know my my first opponent is going to be from the East Coast, so there's not really a lot of opportunities to to play some of those players. You didn't get to see the the other tournaments uh, that were being played because I was in the middle of the Manitoba version. So. I really don't know the, the quality I'm about to face, but I'm expecting it to, to be above my level. I, I don't want to be too out of my depth, so that's kind of how I'm approaching this, just coming in and, and trying not to get destroyed. Now, when you found out that uh, you'd be playing essentially an extra, it almost seems like a wild card game to get into the um, tournament right here. Do you find that as an advantage, maybe a bit of a warm up game, or is it just another hurdle to jump over? I think that's the thing I'm most worried about, like getting to the quarters of the semifinals. I don't know if I'd feel that much pressure as I do playing in a play-in game because it, if it if I lose, it, it's over right there. I don't even get to be a, a part of the full day. The, the festivities for the event, uh, this E National Championship Canada Soccer is putting on, really actually starts at the quarterfinal stage. So by not getting in through the the play-in against Prince Edward Island, I would be missing out on the opportunity to actually feel like I took part in this uh, this tournament. Okay, now uh, can you confirm that you will be playing with Bayern Munich? I will be playing with Bayern Munich, and uh, I'm glad that I get the chance to give a shout out to Canada's own Alfonso Davies. The reason why I use Bayern, and it makes me so happy that when you play in online situations now, you can use a team that has a Canadian on it and also be competitive. Bayern's a great club. And to have uh, Fonzi in that unit, he will start for me today. There's no doubts about that. He will be in my starting 11. Okay, and is there any, uh, I guess, uh, strategy going into this? I know it's a two out of three scenario. Is that something you prefer over a single stage knockout? I, I love the two out of three because usually it takes me a little bit to, to get into matches that I'm playing in. I like to try and keep possession of the ball and figure out what the other team's going to do. So in the event someone got the jump on me in a single game elimination format, it would be kind of tough to recover. So by having a chance to be patient and maybe look towards uh, holding on through game one, 
finding some weaknesses to take advantage of in time for game two and then just kind of kind of roll through there. It's kind of how I got into this event in the finale of the Manitoba tournament. It was a close match. I ended up scoring two quick goals in the second half to take game one, two nil. And in game two, I think I won 10-1. Like once I got some, something figured out against that, uh, that opposition, who was very good. I don't think it was a quality thing. I think I just uh, got hot. So that's what I'm hoping for in this one. Hold on to the start of game one and hopefully you start to get something rolling. And now, right now, we're just looking at uh, footage from our pro club team, the Dad Sons. Now, how do you feel, like, uh, yes. pressure-wise, uh, I guess, for exposure that uh, this will bring to the team? Uh, do you feel like there's a little bit of added responsibility to give it your all and represent the team well? <laughs> It'll be good for the Dad Sons to get a win, finally. So I think that's <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for the most. Uh, you can check our record probably online. and it's not so great. So to be able to maybe uh, yeah, turn things into a bit of a positive swing, maybe we'll find a, a recruit that wants to, to join in and pass me the ball. Uh, there's a few of those opportunities maybe. And uh, just talk a little bit about your personal journey. I'm sure there's um, uh, going to be a bunch of Bransky 9 fans out there that want to be uh, just like you, <laughs> those little those little Branskys out there. Uh, what advice do you give them getting behind the sticks and picking up a, a PlayStation controller and trying to be just like you? Yeah, shout out to Bransky Nation. I know it's huge and everyone's uh, fired up and everyone in Manitoba and Winnipeg loving the support. So hoping to, to do you guys proud. So for anyone out there that wants to, to be in my shoes or possibly by next year, take over and represent Manitoba with a chance to actually win this event. Uh, my recommendation is just pick up the controller and have a little fun with it and don't watch your replays. That's not a way to make friends in this event. Bransky, we'd like to thank you for joining us today and best of luck to you in the tournament. I'm fired up to play. Thanks for doing this. Kickoff to round one just moments away of the E-National Championships. A reminder to our viewers that you can stay right here or switch to twitch.tv slash Canada Soccer to enjoy the rest of the broadcast. That concludes our pregame show. We'd like to thank all our viewers for watching and we hope you enjoy the match. Thanks. I just put it to the side. You just hear him swearing or something. All right, we're live. Marty in three, two. Okay, just moments away. Marty, how are you feeling coming into this one? 
Thanks everyone for tuning in here. Uh, I feel good for Ryan here. Um, obviously getting a look at his lineup with Bayern. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, we can expect a couple of changes at halftime, I think from, from Ryan here, Rob, just because that's usually how he likes to play with Bayern, but we'll have to see. I heard he got a couple uh good warmups in today. And he's playing Yaya Torre. Is that the real Yaya Torre? I believe it's the one and only playing with Liverpool. What are your thoughts about Liverpool? See, cause that's the thing. Like I would, I, I think Liverpool's like probably if you're if you're really skill like if you're a real skiller, Liverpool's probably the best team in the game. I'm not sure if anyone in the comments would say anything about that, but I mean, it's maybe a good it's maybe a good counter for Bayern. It's maybe a good counter for Ryan. Not gonna lie, in our warm up games last night, I did pick Liverpool a couple times. And, oh, you and did he, play a couple of warm up games with them last night. He bumped. Did he talk a little bad. bit about strategy and you know how he was feeling? Yeah, a little bit. He was incredibly nervous. I'm just kidding. Uh, he was uh, he was shaking. Um, no, he 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 had he was uh, he was very confident. Actually. He kind of knew like he was walking me through what he would plan to do in the game and like oh he was a common that's wearing that one. He he seemed confident in what he wanted to do. I don't want to give anything away just in case Yaya Toure and his family are watching this, but um, <laughs> and Yaya Toure's family and friends, I should say. Okay. Yeah, good luck to both. And I believe this is uh, Don that won the Xbox Championship uh, yesterday. So big congratulations to you, Don. Now we kick off now just underway. It's got to be a big, exciting moment for Bransky 9, having all these viewers watching him on the big lights, big stage. He gets to move on to play the representative from the team Ontario. This is the Yaya Torres team Ontario, right? Yeah. No, he'll be moving on to play. Oh, he'll be moving on. Right, right. This is PEI. He's playing PEI. PEI representative. Yeah. And check this down in the comments. I don't want to dox Yaya Toure, but if his last name's Galant, because I know most people in PEI, their last names are Galant, let me know. It's a common last name. Oh, here we go. Great run. Come on, Bransky. Oh, my God. Bransky's, Bransky's got a lead. That's wonderful. <laughs> Whoa. He's okay. got to be feeling pretty good. Do you think the nerves are out of his system now, now that he does have oh, that one that's... that one nil lead? So clutch, Rob, because, like, Ryan, like, and maybe people on stream wouldn't necessarily know this. Like, I don't think he's played much in the way of, like, competitive FIFA other than at, like, a bar in, like, college or something. Like, I don't, like, and to have... Uh, yeah, to have this start, I think, is super important because that was one thing he brought up yesterday was he didn't want to go down early. And I, I, I like he said, he, you know, he wanted to play, I shouldn't say that, he to go down early. He wanted to make sure that he ensured that he didn't. So he wanted to play a little bit more conservatively, which you can kind of see here, I guess. But, yeah, no, this is great. He also talked a lot about um, keeping possession as much as he can because oh, of that inexperience. Steve. Here we go. Yeah, this is a great run. So he's using Davies. Using Davies really well, really well. Um, yeah, no, we talked. To, yeah, I just talked about trying to keep possession, and trying to keep control. One thing that's uh, bugging me right now, I don't know. This is, I think, just a me thing. It's the white and red jerseys right now. Both teams are white and red. And it's just really bothering me. <laughs> oh, that the uh, right. Well, one team is mostly white. No, I get it. It's just that slight moment, just a Liverpool and uh, Bayern Munich thing. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, this is, again, yeah, a really good start for Bransky. Even though, you know, I gave up that shot. But it's, um, no, this is this is quite good. And this is what he would want, again, like, to get some of those nerves out of the way. And he is quite good to keep the ball. You may lose me here briefly, Rob. But um, <clears throat> he's really good to keep the ball and the... Uh, no, I think this is exactly where he wants to play. One point, do you think uh, Bransky parks the bus and plays a little bit more conservative? I don't think he will. I don't think, like, that's, that's really interesting, because no matter, like, who he plays against, I feel like he goes all the way with a great cross there. Oh, <laughs> it's very, very unfortunate for Bransky not to pot that one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't, but, uh, I don't think he's... No, go ahead. I, I've seen him, like, uh, when I've gone and visited him. He's had me, uh, he's hosted me, and uh, he's absolutely ran up the score in other sports games, whether it be NHL or Madden. He'll run up the score. He doesn't care who's 
playing, who he's playing against, he's going to take it to the limit. It's ruthless and sometimes insulting. But that's what we like about it. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, possession will be important, and I think this formation really helps him do that. Now, the one adjustment at halftime, if he does it, we'll, we'll touch on that, but I'm not sure if he'll do it. I don't want to give it away again. Um, but, again, because, yeah, see, see how well he's just keeping the ball? And Lewandowski as well. He talked about maybe not playing him and not using him because he doesn't have that speed but he's perfect for hold up right like you just kind of see yeah he wins that ball back i'm not, I'm not sure how much of a delay i'm on but he just won that ball back to the kimmich so this this makes sense this makes a lot of sense oh <laughs> Wait, the patience there bransky oh wow can he pot it oh you know he's got to be slapping his thighs right now in his living room he wants that i'll try to figure out our delay here rob because i think i'm just a couple seconds ahead but not nothing too bad um. Yeah, hey, this is well, this is really good. Yeah, again, he's he's this formation also allows him to try to win the ball back in the in the um, in the attacking third. I, I guess a big issue for Liverpool is that they're going to have speed, but we'll have to see how they match that. We'll see yeah. though. If every player is ninety overall, maybe speed. It's going to be all balanced out a little bit, not as much to a Liverpool advantage as playing with their normal attributes. That's true. Something that something though that he he even pointed out to me when when playing Liverpool, he's like put uh, Sadio Mane and Mo Salah in the middle, which this guy is doing. Yaya Torre, the real Yaya Torre, is doing that because I think that's 92 pace, which is quite good. Ooh, I'm lucky not to get that pen. We want that pen. Yeah, I think uh, Bransky would be yelling at his TV right now, wanting that call. I guess we'll, we'll get to talk to him at halftime. Yeah, he may be still upset by it uh, by the time we get to there. For those our viewers, we're going to be talking to Bransky at halftime. If he, I, I think he'll be in a good mood to talk to us at halftime. <laughs> this game, but if uh, things turn on him, we'll see if he is in a chatting mood for just a quick uh, comment. Yeah, his media li- liaison said he may uh, not take comment after. He- I think I think we're his media guys. <laughs> we paid for the travel spend- expenses for him to get there. See, I think you're you're Rob. You're more logistics, and I think I would be more media liaison. Yeah, mostly most yeah mostly because I have like no skills, and like I'd I would name like one of my skills. <laughs> hey, 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 that's a respected career. Don't say that. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ryan, how did that feel to get that uh, that early goal? Whew, that was huge from Lewandowski. Left-footed, wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that uh, back post, but glad it happened. So hoping to be able to hold things on. Going to make a few subs here at halftime, bring on a little bit more speed and see if we can hold on to this match. Do you feel, do you feel nerves right now? Yes. Wow. <laughs> he said yes. He said he yes. He said yes. <laughs> And he's well, off. Yeah. He unplugged the controller. Oh, we love that. It's uh, you know, I think he's in a good headspace right now, Marty. I don't know about you, but I think he's having fun. He, like a, a couple of uh, nerves that are playing effect right now, but I think he's having fun with this. And like any good media, media liaison, you ask the the hard question: Do you feel nervous right now? Yes. Yes. No, All right, back to you. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, so the change is obviously to put uh, Costa in the middle because he would have a full 92 speed complement, and then obviously he's fresh here he is now. Um, yeah, which that uh, that makes sense. That makes sense too because you're just trying to kind of wear them down. And I'm curious, yeah, that's that's a good move to try to get. Um, you see her here now, Leandowski trying to flick that over to Costa because that's probably where you want to be now because if Liverpool is going to try to. Yeah, yeah, Torre is going to try to commit numbers forward. He's going to be a little bit more antsy defensively. So when he pulls a defender out, if you're able to use Lewandowski just to flick a ball on to Costa, who has pace, you can maybe find a breakthrough. Nice. Really nice. What, what are your thoughts on how Ryan's playing so far? So far, so good. I thought he'd be playing a little bit more conservative, just being in a new spot. But I'm kind of liking that he's dictating his own play right now. Because um, this is a situation he's never been in other than uh, the play-ins for Manitoba. But uh, just seeing the level of confidence he's playing with and the amount of opportunities he's getting, I'm really liking him. I'm liking his chances. But, you know, it is FIFA and things can uh, switch in a heartbeat. 
Oh, right off the bar. That's unbelievable. Ransky gets away with one right there. Yeah, that's... Maybe just, just to rattle your confidence a little bit. But like you said, there's nerves. So that means he's... He's heightened. So okay. often we see these things where momentum will just shift like that, where one minute it's off your own crossbar, and then the next you're taking it up the field. Here's Sonny. But, yeah, I mean, on the on the whole, this is still pretty good. And, again, it's two out of three. I'm not sure people here in the stream uh, uh, stream know that. But he's got he's got a bit of get, breathing room here. Yeah, they all, to play in a Canada soccer tournament like this when you're from Winnipeg. Yeah, when you live in Winnipeg. You can feel uh, the pressure a little bit right now from Liverpool, but they're trying to uh, push the play a lot more when Francie's sitting back just a little bit more, trying to defend that lead. Yeah. And this is pretty nerve-wracking for us, too, because, like, uh, we are cheering for this guy. We wish all the competitors all the best luck um, and let the best man win, but this is our guy. Bransky 9, this is our guy. You know, we, He's uh, our friend. We've seen him develop all, over the years. And uh, just seeing his uh, skill level where it's at and it's on this national stage, we couldn't be more proud of this guy. We want to see this guy go all the way in this championship. I want to see him be one of the best. Straight up. Straight up. He deserves it. He deserves it, too. You saw in the pregame inter interview as well, and that's just the, that's just the media training that, that I did. But, uh, yeah, he, he, he speaks like a real pro, thanks to me. Yeah, how did you... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, Tori calling. Sorry, yeah, yeah, Tori calling for a pause here. That's going to be interesting. Okay. He's got him on the ropes here. So a pause, what do you think it would just be a sub? Yeah, I'll see what Ryan does. I, just waiting to see. It's got to be a foul Oh, there. interesting. Yeah. Going to replace Looks the like midfielder. Going yeah. To do it as well. Yeah, that that makes sense. That's I think that's all three subs that he, he has. But, um, sorry, what were you going to say? I don't remember, actually. Amazing. 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 Something about media training. I saw a foul at one point. I think I'm over it. We're in the last a little bit now in the match. Branch gets a moment to uh, close this one out. This is good uh, competition, though, to have a one nothing lead at this point. Oh, it is. Both, both oh, players really have is. had their opportunities. Um, for nerve's sake, I wish like it was a little bit more of a runaway match, but I don't think that's good entertainment. Bransky is one of the best FIFA players in Canada, and I think he's about to prove it to the world. He's up 1-0 against Yaya Toure. <laughs> oh, this is a tough he can spot bring here. this type of uh, competition into the dad's sons to boost the locker room. They know they're not <laughs> doing so well. I, th I believe in uh, Division 7 still, and uh, recently competed in the Straight Corn Cup. In the bottom of the pool. <laughs> no comment on that. Something <clears throat> for viewers as well that should know. Uh, Ryan is. Um, oh, oh, that really That's hurts. That's tough. That's tough. But, uh, get, good pressure from Liverpool. Okay, so it looks like Ryan. No, I guess the uh, Liverpool called for that sub. Okay, well, th that was just some tough angles. I mean, that's. It's kind of where you don't want to be in something maybe Bransky hasn't like experienced just something that you know like we're, we're not the best FIFA players but I know when I watch uh, high level competitions it's the amount of possession the teams have in front of the box that always just like blows my mind because that's that's where you kind of get those little runs those angles and like that's kind of what we're looking at it looks like uh, almost had Alba I think is the oh that's King Suponen almost had him on the overlap there here we go he's going to try to link nice move Yes. Okay, that's got to be a red card. What do you do? You, like, you got to take... That's getting off easy with just the yellow. But, uh, this is that's tough. That's a good foul right there. So he's been working on some sort of routine. Uh, it's not going to do it now, but he did have one before. Interesting to lump a ball in here. Nah. Um, yeah, for people that don't know Bransky 9, uh, Ryan, he's actually... Um, 
soccer journalist based in Winnipeg, and he covers the uh, Canadian Premier League. Uh, Valor FC, for those who, who know uh, the league well, so he covers them for uh, for the league website and also for One Soccer. So he's he's a legit soccer journalist, folks, and he's taking his skills to the sticks. That's yeah, and it shows it. he's he's well versed in the come on universe. Ooh. That may be a good opportunity good. for a corner. Yeah, and that was good to try to generate a rebound as well. I, I, I mean, people could maybe hop in the chat if they disagree, but I think if you're in this position where you're I mean, if you're Ryan, you're maybe not like the, you don't think you're maybe the best player right at the gate, you know, try to get those little rebounds and try to go, ooh, try to get a good angle. Oh, it had to be a read cad. A uh, Australian read cads are worth more. <laughs> or, or worth less, I don't know. Oh my God, here we go. King, 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 king. Here we go. Low cross death. <gasps> Back goes death! Oh, he's done it! Wonderful. Brant C9's got to be feeling that. That's right at death. He's got to be happy. Big sigh of relief from the kid right there. Can't wait to hear from him, but can he shut it down? One last opportunity for the kid. That is an unbelievable form performance from Ryan Brant, and we're here. We're joined by him shortly. Now? Will he be popping on full time? That's hey. incredible. Wow, wow. Ransky, congratulations on the first game. You know, I've had a lot to say about Douglas Costa in my preparations about his finishing ability, but when the chips were down and the guy needed one most, he came through. So you went you went back post instead of going, like, I think there was an angle on the short side. What went? Yeah, I liked. Oh, did my game just freeze? Are you seeing this? Uh, you guys one. are probably seeing this. That my game just froze. Okay, I'll have to restart my FIFA. Apologies. He only played FIFA tournaments at, uh, you know, the, the McDonald's on uh, Warren Cliff.
these to to get back and get forward. So I I you have to just kind of stick to it. I think we've kind of seen the, what he wants to do with the ball. He really wants to get it in the middle, send Mane in, or trying to get uh, Salah involved. But it's a little difficult in an all 90 overall match because, like, I have some guys that can match the speed. I'm playing Hernandez, mm -hmm. I guess, technically out of position as a center back in this format. So he's like, he's got 90 pace at center back. So right. I think that's been yep. a bit of an advantage. He loses a bit of size. We saw that a little bit on that goal scoring opportunity. But I think that. Uh, I think things will be all right. My, my my strategy for this game is kind of the same. Hold on to the ball, look for some opportunities to counter, and see if I can finish this off in two games. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Yeah, we're still taking a look at the bracket while uh, um, his speed clears up on our end. Uh, Marty, I don't know if you can see his speed. Right now, just behind the scenes, we're working through some, uh, I guess, technical issues. And as soon as I say that, it's like the game here, we're going to switch right back to it. Just a heads up, everyone, we'll game. be playing, uh, yeah, there's 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 at least one more game coming up here, and then potentially two. It's the best two out of three, so mm -hmm. hang on to your screens. Hang we're on just to your screens, as they say. Grip the side of the glass. To, to get back oh. Let it cut your hand. You got a different stream up, sir? No, I'm trying to be watch one this stream. stream. You should be watching. <laughs> I don't know if you understand how much work has gone into this thing. <laughs> we have a bunch of unpaid interns that are working behind the scenes, getting some of their high school volunteer hours. It's all about the experience. Uh, so I hear. <laughs> so I hear. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm hopping back in here to watch the, uh, the Bransky time. Again, stick around here at least one more game, potentially two here, against Yaya Toure of Prince Edward Island. Interesting. Yeah, on the west side the of the island. Kids. Yeah, I like that. I think you got to mix it up. you got to mix it up. Did you, hear, you potentially could have heard me complaining at some point if he was close to the headset. Yeah, he might have. I'm curious if uh, if he made any adjustments. It doesn't look like he did. So, yeah, it's Mane Salah. And then... Be Shakiri on the right hand side. That would make sense actually, because Shakiri could cut in on his left. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, that makes sense. And he's good defensively, as you see. He just just won the ball there. Um, interesting. So yeah, this will be where I think this is where Ryan will have the most difficulty. Like he sort of said, you know, you're you're pinned back a little bit, and if you're just not used to playing at the level. You know, there's a lot on the line. I feel like you can maybe just... You're prone to make a few mistakes or sort of jump the gun. But in transition and then further up the field is where Ryan really excels. Like, this is this is bread and butter. Especially when he has Lewandowski up there. It's the ball to foot. Leia. To all our, uh, uh, our viewers. That is a great ball coming here. Yes. Good, good, good shot generated. Must be a little bit behind uh, the feed you're watching, but that's all right. That's just uh, part of the issues with, uh, with all this social distancing you know, and this lack of internet. Oh. Reminder to all our viewers that uh, at the end of our broadcast, the tournament will continue up regardless of uh, Bransky 9 advances or not. You can stay on our channel or you can switch over to Canada Soccer's Twitch channel. Catch it. I think to get his confidence back, he's going to be looking for a nutmeg. I think you got to try to pan out a guy and then get your confidence back. Is that the best way to boost your confidence in FIFA? For the most part, yeah. <laughs> huh. I've never tried it. Um, yeah, this is tough. I, I he, not all lost here from Ryan though because he did generate a pretty good. Uh, he did generate a pretty good chance. So there's. Um, yeah. The best part, like, there's still a lot of game left to be played. So. Uh, you live and learn from it, and you also have a one game to nothing lead. Uh, so it's not end of the world for Bransky you know, to give up that first, uh, to concede that first goal. Hmm. 
And if you're, yeah, yeah, this is a great response from him to give up that late ga- uh, that late goal in the first game, and then to come up to a one 0 lead so early into the second game. Yeah, this is good work though from Yayatori. Obviously, we don't want to discourage the real Yayatori. He was playing for Prince Edward Island. He recently moved to Summerside. He retired there. Former Barcelona, former Barcelona legend. So that's a missed opportunity for Yaya. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is uh, okay. This is tough from Brancy. I think you just got to try to reset. Um, and look for yeah he's, he's trying to I'm just watching here I think I'm a little bit ahead of the stream but he's trying to you know push ahead and try to get a few dribbles in and uh, the stop I guess I guess that's kind of what the position that you're in it is difficult to try to reset yourself after something like this but a good good thing you got that first goal though good thing you know that that first goal in seven minutes if you're just joining the stream now I got that in the first game this is Ryan's first real competitive big boy, um, big boy stream. So, um, or big boy competition, I should say, not stream. But um, got the win in that first game and got that early goal. I think that's really going to bode well for him because, yeah, he's under a bit of pressure here. I think Yaya Torre of Prince Edward Island is really settling in here. And yeah, it's about that. See what I mean, Rob? About that possession at the top of the box, like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and really, for Bransky 9, we said it before, and we'll get his thoughts coming into the uh, halftime here. Um, just to know, this is his first time playing down in the tournament, so this is a new experience for him is, uh, to climb back into the match. There we go. Okay, Ryan, that felt good to get that one. Yeah, I needed that, eh? There's a bit of a, a struggle there and um, some questionable uh, methodology uh, used against me a little bit there, I thought, but you know, what are you going to do? Questionable in what way? Hey, you know, the old stand and still run out mm. the clock. I'm not a big fan of that, but what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, I'm at, I think I have to go speed up front and make a few tactical changes. Leave my midfield the same and take out Muller and Lewandowski and try and run some stuff up the middle. I think that's my best. Special bet luck here. there. We'll see you out there. Full Thanks. thought. Yeah. Go get him there, Bransky. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is a little bit of a noticeable delay in the. Uh, stream for sure uh, compared to uh, what you're watching, Marty. <laughs> to what I'm watching, I'm just uh, heading on into halftime right now and what I'm looking at. Shoot, is that We're reflected on the stream itself? No, because um, right now it's just uh, my reaction will be very late. This is just like uh, behind the scenes for everyone watching at home, just part of the struggle that we're dealing with. You know, this kind of stuff happens. We're just glad you're joining us, and uh, there's really no other way you can get this game. So, you know, we wish it could be perfect for you guys, but well, right? I really do wish it was perfect. You can't always get what you want. That's all right, though. I can have a snack. It's a great one. What's yeah. going to be this, uh, the snack? You were telling me about, what is it, Porsche Keys. Porsche Keys. Now, you've heard of Chevrolet Keys. This is just a sponsored by... Is Porsche Chevrolet? Striker drop back. Love that here from, uh, from Ryan as we settle in here. Really hope I really hope he wins the game. I can't believe like you mentioned all of the uh, these car these car makers, these car manufacturers. You didn't mention the one that's sponsoring this tournament. Named all of them, Marty, except for Toyota. Toyota. Oh, we're in trouble. 
Whoa! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fun. We're just joking around. Did I get the name of that treat right? Was it Porsche? It was Porsche. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we lose the sponsorship. My mom drives a Camry. I actually I like (laughs) Camrys. I do, and I mean that. I do. It's it. Vehicles, Toyotas, are always just the most dependable. And then obviously they came in a NASCAR uh, about a decade ago, but for some reason that feels like yesterday, so I feel like I've already messed up that that little sidebar. Um, what can you do? Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I think Brian, again, he's, um, he's a good little FIFA player. It is tough that he has to go in and play Ontario if he wins this, but if you're able to, like, I don't know, he, to, to beat someone on the sandy, red red sandy shores of Prince Edward Island, which, you know, as you know, Ryan uh, is, off, is off to frequent Prince Edward Island, who considered it kind of a home away from home. I'm just putting that, putting words in his mouth there. Maybe next year you can represent PEI? Perhaps, yeah, if you can, uh, well, he already won Manitoba, so he's already the the top dog. So you think he maybe wanted to defend his throne, right? No, I think you want to represent uh, a smaller. Or you want to represent the smallest province because it's the hardest to win. Well, that could be something what we ask him at the end <laughs> of the half. Can you imagine that's like the, our main concern? Like, hey, where are you living? Where are you living next year? Yeah, where where do you want to? Uh, where's your eligibility? <laughs> so you, you couldn't win here. Where can you win? <laughs> Do you own property in Prince Edward Island? I don't think you can represent uh, unless you own property there. Can we please have the address? See, I, I think, yeah, Yaya Toure is in, to, to give to give him credit and to give Ryan credit, Yaya Toure, former Barcelona midfielder who's playing as Prince Edward Island, um, he's probably a lot better than you would think because, yeah, when obviously the bracket comes out, you're like, okay, that makes sense. You want to put... You know, I guess Manitoba, and then there's what New Brunswick and Nova Scotia and PEI are the ones that have to play in rounds, and those are probably yeah, those are like the smaller provinces. That makes sense, and yeah, to come up against PEI, I guess you would think PEI would be one of the easier um, provinces just by population or, or what have you. And yeah, I think he's, I think yeah, I mean he's he's obviously close to or if not level with Ryan. So I think that's um, maybe that's good for, for Ryan at the start, you know, like you're playing a good team, even though you maybe sort of come in a little bit more confident thinking, okay, and you know, this is maybe the easiest province who knows. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is good for him. And just checking where you're at on the stream, Marty, cause we're, we're not in the same room watching this. We're, uh, in different parts of the interior watching this. Um, I'm at the 77th minute. Where are you? I'm at the 77th minute as well. That's wonderful. You just saw that uh, great slide tackle by Bransky. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, we're at the same spot. We work through this. But it we was the. It's, I think it's the delay from the Bransky stream to the Dad Son stream. Yeah, because I can't switch that. That's the part like I can't refresh it or else it'll be a big jump. Mm. But right now, like I'm, I just pulled out my phone and started watching it, uh, so I can just refresh it and so I can get a little bit better of a reaction speed. Could we watch it? Could we watch this on the Dad Son stream? I guess there'd be a delay. Yeah, it'd be a, even more of a delay. Right, I see. Hmm. That's alright. Yeah. Yeah, no, again, uh, our, our This good is the feed. Now. The dad son's feed is the feed. I feel back, so like, hey, watch the dad son's feed. <laughs> no one's no one's allowed to see us. Where's everyone watching from? Oh, oh that's tough for Bransky. That's really tough. No spoilers! I'm not gonna give away the spoiler. <laughs> No, they can see that, though, because like, they're still recording uh, the video from uh, Branson's party, which is uh, what we're seeing. Yeah, I know. It's, it's really different. No, I'm confused. I'm... I know. Folks. Folks. Yeah, if the people watching at home, there's been a lot of... That's a great chef. That is is going to be really upset about that hit in the bar. Yeah, that's okay, because now, I mean, what, it's, it's late enough. It's about trying to... Like, if I'm Bransky, it's more just about trying to establish your game again. Like you said, he kind of got st- kind of strayed away from that in the um, in the other game. That's just about trying to get back on. Get back on what you know you can do. That's it, bro. He gives up another one there. That's, again, how, how FIFA goes. It's uh, something that I know he's going to be bouncing back from. And uh, him knowing that it's so late in the game, like, 
what can you do? I know uh, he's going to be eager to jump right back into the, the next game. Ryan, how do you feel? Yeah, that wasn't uh, that wasn't one of my better showings there. You kind of took my game to me a bit there, right? Yeah. So what? So what? What's your goal going into game three, though? You're just gonna try to reassert what you know works. I think it's all about scoring first in that situation because I kind of got he was doing to me what I did him in the first game, just trying to you know take take on a lot of that pressure and uh, absorb it and, and make something work with it. So we get to a deciding game three. Not ideal. How about that crossbar too? Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. That was too bad. I don't know if I would have. I don't think I was coming back in that match, anyways. But to at least have, uh, you know, made it a one-goal game would have been nice. But I think those changes worked a little bit. I'll see what I can do here in this final game. Yeah, I think they did. Best of luck. Best of luck, kid. Best Bill of luck. Bransky. Thanks. Best yes. of Is it? Can I get a snack? Probably not. Is it snack time? Like, there's just one more game to go. Like, can you just hold on? <laughs> I'd say there's no rules here. If you like, if people at home are watching, they want to go get a snack. I think uh, Barty Thompson can go get a snack as well. Cut the cut the video of me like looking at the door, just being like, I gotta, I gotta get out. The little pantry. Yeah, half a bag of chips ready to go. I love a pantry. So I'm just trying to watch how see how delayed the stream is here for game three. Again, uh, viewers at home will be watching. It's only a couple of seconds, right, Rob? It's only a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, sorry, I thought it was more significant than that. Okay, so uh, I guess the colors have been switched sort of here. Um, again, Shakiri on the left. Is it the same attacking three? Liverpool would want to do is just try to keep the ball right, especially in the games like this. Like you know, again, for people who are then tuning in, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record for those who are watching, but Ryan hasn't doesn't have much experience in big tournaments like this. There's obviously going to be like a little bit of the nerves there, and like what's better to capitalize on nerves than just this kind of pressure, right? Oh, well, that's a nice pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Torre is quite good. It just feels like maybe that first game was a little bit more of a feeling out process for uh, Yaya because uh, it does look like mm -hmm. a completely different player. And and Ryan's kind of a guy. Look, let's be honest. He's an alpha. So he came into that first <laughs> game and said, oof, oof. And uh, yeah, that's the big dog. Brinsky the big dog. Meantime, people in PEI, not all people, this person is like the seal that got uh, You see the seal? Little seal in PEI. You seen that little feel good story that came out last week? Check it out. There was a feel good story haven't. out of PEI. I feel like there are yeah, good feel good stories out of PEI. That's true. Yeah, there 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 usually are. Um, I would recommend looking up uh, for people watching at home, just to get an idea of what Prince Edward Island is like. Um, look up CBC and then top ten stories from Prince Edward Island in 2020. They're really good. It's mostly like someone got like a 300 in Scrabble or uh, someone cut someone's grass was another headline. See, this is good. This is this is good from Bransky. I think, yeah, I, I, forcing it a bit, but that's that's the kind of thing, Rob, and I'm curious like what he would say to this is like, you know, obviously you know in your heart of hearts that you're not supposed to force much, right? In FIFA, you want to like, at the top level, they rarely take a chance that isn't like quite good. And a percentage level, but you get to a point like this where you're kind of, you're maybe just like a little bit anxious, a bit antsy, and you end up sort of forcing things to your own detriment, like that. Yeah, see that that's a pass that that Bransky wouldn't uh, wouldn't usually make. Just see that sort of cross going to the into into the middle there. Um, and yeah, yeah, I, don't I know. feel like we get it. It's just more about limiting your mistakes is uh, the best way to move through this tournament. Is that. The skill levels very close to each other. I feel at this point, when you're just hopping on blind to a random game, Ooh. that's tough. That's really Ooh. tough for the guy. No, it's not supposed to be this way. No, this is really bad. We have a bunch of Bransky 90 National Championship jerseys, signed, <laughs> ready to go. 
I didn't tell Bransky this, but we got a bunch of them in the back, and if we lose this thing, they're going to be useless. The logo is sweet. It's a, it's a desktop computer, and on the screen it has the Toyota logo. Jesus. Yeah, what are going to do with these shirts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that, I mean, I, I, this would still go to, I think this would still go to extra time, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe Ryan doesn't even know this. But, yeah, this is good. This is good. It, the passes don't need to be that nice. But, yeah, you're you're still in good positions. Okay, now so we might see a free him. kick. Yeah, this is the free kick scenario he's doing, which I don't even know what it is. Okay. Oh, what a great opportunity That's good. for Bransky. That was definitely a set play that he's been practicing. That's okay. I'm curious what he'll do on corners. Yeah. That's good. See, this is good, and and maybe that's all you need is a bit of the confidence here. Boateng's good to take a shot. This is nice passing. Well, really unfortunate play right there. Maybe Bransky was hoping for a penalty at the end to salvage a penalty, but uh, just unfortunate. And as Yaya is dictating the pace the other way now. Oh, yeah, again. 9,000 again. shirts. What are we going to do with that? We thought we were going to sell 4,000 on the street in Winnipeg. Everyone in the pregame, you obviously saw, um, you saw about, uh, you saw the, the fans, the whiteout in downtown Winnipeg. Like, what are they going to do now? Thousands. I don't send know. Them do home upset. I don't. I don't think they can go home. I think they've got to go. I think they've got to go straight to the bar. I think they're. I think. They're, I think they're open. I don't Winnipeg. think so. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, if if I'm Ryan, yeah, it is just too bad that they, you know, he got the run of play for max five minutes of game time here, and obviously, yeah, yeah, scored on that. But John is good, and this guy's got some really nice skills, which is yeah, that's a nice pass. Yeah, this is really tough because that was a really really nice play from yeah, yeah, and. It, like really good like really good um, awareness right like I think that's something that the players at the top will have a lot more of and yeah I mean still in it for Ryan here he's come back from a lot worse against me but uh, but yeah oh definitely but like you're not the top player in PEI I wish you were the top player in PEI right now. I feel like I'm the top player in PEI or a different <laughs> island <laughs> you think you could beat yeah yeah I don't know about that Pass uh, hey, uh, hey, Dad, Sons fans, uh, put which island I would be the best FIFA player on? <laughs> would it be? It might be. It might be Lonely Island in Georgian Bay. Stop it, Tom Connors is from PEI, folks. Uh, Flower Pot Island, perhaps. Oh, Flower Pot Island. For, now there's people that live there. Nah, they'd probably have a PlayStation or something. Yeah, definitely, or like a SNES. Oh, oh! Yes. He whacked it off him. He whacked it off that guy's dead body. Do you think like there's skill points or something that goes into this? Okay, Ryan, how do we reset? What's next? <laughs> that was the suboptimal. Was that? That's three shots, three goals. So what's next? Uh, what I guess I have to score three goals. That sounds like he's a good played really plan. well. Honestly, like this is this is the best he's yeah. played against me. I think. I yeah, he's uh, he's good. I did feel that maybe. One of those fouls may have given his left back a yellow card, and then there's maybe a bit more of a danger setting there, but instead, uh, no. Mm. But, uh, oh, he's got some tactical changes he wants to make, so. Whew. Well. Would you consider changing your formation and going more ultra? It's ultra tough, a? though, because um, here's a situation I ran into in the Manitoba tournament that I won where the other guy went ultra attacking, and then I scored, like, seven goals on the counter. So I think it's... Better off just playing my own game, see where we're at by the 75th minute and decide if I want to start pushing. But I got to get one here to start. All right, dude. Best of luck. You. Thanks, you guys. You need a few, dude. That's a, that's a good <laughs> need a few to put four. Costa up there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, best of luck, That's a good Brent play team. to put Costa. You saw Costa went up top. Really nice. Man, Yay. I really wanted to yell at him. I really wanted to yell at him. I don't think that would have done any good, though. Yeah, he. you know, and it's about trying to keep the confidence, folks. Smash that like well, like, he's actually played competitive sports, and I'm sure, like, you know, that's what happens in competitive sports. You get yelled at when you're not doing so well. But, uh, it's 2021, man. 
Come Am on. Am I not allowed to do that anymore? <laughs> like, do I go to Winnipeg and take him to Dairy Queen after that performance? I think it would make sense for Rob to get canceled after the stream, so... <laughs> That's what did it. <laughs> I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see a headline at the AV club, and I'm like, "Oh no, that's my friend." He got kicked out of the dad sons for throwing around the idea of yelling at the best player on the team just to try to boost his confidence. Not and boost just, his confidence, get a response out of the kid. For the record, everyone, I this dad sons is not a toxic work environment. It's not. I'll gladly do it at not every employee survey to prove that. Yeah, they do it once a year. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I like I like that from uh, from from Ryan. I guess at this point, it's yeah, like just try to be like a little bit more aggressive and just try to do something a bit different. I guess just see what would happen. Because yeah, you saw how we what had, he was had... doing in the first half really wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stay positive, man. I'm trying not to get cancer. I got these nine thousand shirts in my basement. I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Um, yeah, look at this, like man-to-man press. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, I can hear Ryan screaming. Yeah, he's, not, he's, he's not happy about that. I get that, though. It is Winnipeg Estate. Let's go. Press is on. This is... I really like this, though, because, yeah, like, he's he's smart enough to try to push ahead and make him feel uncomfortable before he even gets to players like Mane or Salah. But like, like the, the tragic thing with Rob is like right side. He's like, I gotta go. I gotta get one like right now. And yeah, you're kind of running out of time. Yeah, and this I, I get right why these. Yeah, this, no, he's still at a good spot. But yeah, yeah you think three nothing? Uh, at now the sixtieth <laughs> minute's a good sp space to be. No, I meant I meant in this particular sequence. Oh, he's at a good spot. Okay. But Bransky and I scored the first goal of this tie in, in game one, so. Well, if you ever go, like, to a Harlem Globetrotter game, like, you know, the those guys, I forget which team they are. Um, the New York like, Generals? The yeah, they let them run up the score a little bit, and, like, the Globetrotters will just come back, so maybe there's hope of that. I was actually at a game where the Generals won. It was the only really? Game. I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, you got me. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on, Bransky. 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 Oh. Oh. It's tough. Yeah, and I think I think he's he's done done everything he can. But I think I mean hate to be at this part of the tournament, but you know, looking ahead to the next tournament, I think Bransky's poised to make uh, make something of it. You know, he's uh, yeah, that's that's four. He's got he's got a taste. He's got a taste of the ex he's got a taste of what it's like. He hey, this has been a really good uh, measuring stick, and being called the best player in Manitoba is. Uh... Nothing to be, um, uh, you know, something to be proud of. And really, we're proud of this guy, too, for um, representing the team so well. He's fought through it. We're not seeing him quit. We're seeing him push as hard as he can. So, really, what more can you ask from the guy? Dad, son's teammate, Dylan Dyson, says, lots of time left in game. Have to watch getting exposed on the counter. Yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> that's good feedback. Oh, he's gonna. Where is he playing Doyer? Is he playing Doyer up top? Damn. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think he's good. I think he's good. I think he's gonna win. Uh, yeah, there's the ultra. He's doing it for the fans, folks. This one's for you. Every he single person watching up. in downtown Winnipeg. We were talking about the the potential dags. Maybe he's trying to set up that, thinking there's a small hope of fine print written in the rules for this e-national championship that dags are allowed and that means game over yeah um for those unfamiliar if you score a dagger which is a overhead kick um you win the game that's our house rules um uh, those are our house rules i guess um and yeah we were just debating if that was going to be in the rules here for the Toyota e-nationals and uh, it might be so he may just try to do that because if you do score an overhead kick what he'll do, what Ryan will do, actually online, is just pause the game multiple times, and then uh, just message them and say, "Hey, just heads up, you have to quit because I won." So yeah, I, now it's more about just trying to do, you know, a few little scare tactics here and there. We'll see what the the rules are in PEI because you may uh, play to those rules as well. We don't know how they play out there. I don't know what Stomp and Tom Connors would do or about dagger rule. 
maybe a song or two written about it. On a Zubbery Saturday night. Yeah, this is a, a, a good, a, yeah, like you said, a good measuring stick. And we, look, Ryan's the best FIFA player that I know. And uh, and that many people know, millions know. Everyone in downtown Winnipeg, all those people wearing white shirts and seemingly ignoring social distance distancing in that clip you shared, Rob. You know, they believe that too. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's good that, like, he united everyone in Winnipeg and the province. <laughs> Showing his courage right now, you know, being down four uh, nil against someone from PEI, just giving it his all and really showing respect to the game. You know, he's really uh, won over our hearts and hopefully our viewers at home too. And it'll be good. It'll be good to get his uh, take here after the game because there's no way he's going to be happy about what's happened. Yeah, definitely uh, more extended coverage coming up uh, following this. Um, we will be uh, at the end of the broadcast uh, hosting Canada Soccer's. Uh, switch it! Three. Switch it! Switch it! Switch it! Sorry. You <laughs> wanted to switch. That's low cross. Or just yeah. something to go out on. Dagger it! Please dagger it! Oh, you wanted it. That would have been the time to do it. Kingsley C. If there was ever a dag appropriate ball, it would have been that. Yep. Yep. Got to feel for Ryan, but uh, all in all, a good performance. It just speaks to the skill of uh, who this tournament's going to bring. Yeah. Yeah, and I think oh, I actually think Ryan was sloppy. better. Yeah, he's, he's wasted the time. Um, I really think that Ryan is a lot better than this scoreline. That's not oh, a good call. I think it. I think he deserved more. Like he, he mentioned that crossbar in game two, but uh, and yeah, just getting scored on on the run of play. Now it's time to bring in Ryan Brandt, a.k.a. Bransky 9 a.k.a. Manitoba champion, falling to Yaya Torre 1288-9, I think, uh, from Prince Edward Island in the first round of the Toyota E National Championships. Uh, Ryan, your thoughts on the game? He's upset. He's really upset. We have to hear the mic flick on. What's probably happening is he's sending a message to the guy wishing him all the best. I just heard the the mic right there. Okay, you now we're joined by that question again. It was beautiful. Okay, <laughs> we're now joined by Ryan Brandt, aka Brantsky Nine, aka Manitoba Champion on PlayStation Four, uh, just defeated by Yaya Torre, the real Yaya Torre of Prince Edward Island. Um, Ryan, your thoughts on that third game and maybe specifically that second half? Because, like you said, you're trying to take control of it, right? Yeah, I think that. I mean, that's like he's a good player, man. That was that was some good stuff. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, by, he uh, is. By the end, uh, I don't know. Maybe nerves got him in the in the first game and had a bit of a an advantage. I, I really feel like that entire series comes down to who is going to score the the first goal, and it was him that ends up getting it. So you're kind of on the on the back foot. We both want to play possession, and I'm the one chasing the game. So you get yourself uh, in, in a little bit of trouble there. So I don't know. Four one really tells the story. He definitely des deserved to win it, but that was uh, that was some close stuff and. I didn't uh, get my ass kicked, which was the thing I was really the bar I'd set. Don't get destroyed. <laughs> didn't get destroyed. Think, I won. I won a game. Didn't, didn't get destroyed. Yeah, I won a game. Do you think you're was... better than this? Do you think you're like you're better than the scoreline, like the this game obviously, and then the 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 two one. Yeah, I think this. I think the these should have all been probably like a one goal game. I think that's kind of where mm -hmm. we were both at. He had the he was slightly the the better player. So if you're looking at playing in a in a tournament where the the next match against Ontario is going to be extremely difficult so maybe having the, yes. the best hope to take down the big province is the better one so uh yeah much love to PEI a great name Yaya Torre is one of the best so you got you got to love it yeah definitely stick around for that uh game against uh the Ontario uh, representative uh here on the dad sons channel uh Bransky, like, where do you go from here? Like, uh, when you look at how you played today and where you need to go next, what do you need to improve on? I think there's lessons you learn when you actually play against like these competitive of players. Like playing the top division in online seasons, or even play like ultimate team. 
you can't really gauge your opposition. Sometimes you're just playing guys that have teams that are so good or so fast that you, you don't know what to do. So when you get in these situations where everyone's 90 overall, you can kind of see uh, what makes uh, some of these players really good. And this guy, you know, he knew how to own the ball. He knew where to get his, his, his players moving. So a lot of experience there, and, and it showed. So I, I'm pretty impressed with the, the opposition I was up against. Uh, much tougher than the road that I took to get here. Will you play FIFA 21 again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to retire from our from the Pro Clubs team, the Dad Sons, today. Uh, That's after. brilliant. So we'll get more of you next week or this week. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll be back. I'm looking forward to, to getting my little striker out there and scoring a, a few more goals and, and salvaging it. And I'll probably be back playing a, a little online season and taking any challengers that, that want to come my way. Got to get better. There's, there's always another opportunity to play. And it was really cool of Canada Soccer to put this on, I think, because there has been a lot of opportunities for interprovincial play without any national championships like we're used to so we got something uh, i'm glad i did make it further than the other contestant from manitoba in the xbox division so i can uh, i can hang my hat on that that i was our best challenger <laughs>